We're going to look at a rope border next, and that's using a tip number 21, which is a mid-sized open star tip. You can see that right here. We've got our piping bag filled with icing. It's twisted. I'm making sure to hold the twist between my thumb and the rest of my hand, and I'm going to operate the bag using all the pressure from my hand here. I'm not going to move my hand back and forth at the wrist. I'm going to keep it steady and just move my hand across as I'm creating the design. Now in order to do the rope, you want to hold your bag at a 45 degree angle, which is half between straight up and down and flat against the cake surface. So 45 is right about here. And since I'm right handed, looking at this little circle, pretending it's a clock, I want to start the design as if my hand were at a 5 o'clock position on a clock and that's how I'm going to maintain consistency as I go through this design. What you're going to do first is find your beginning spot, begin piping with steady even pressure, make a curvy semi S shape, stop squeezing and remove. Don't lift straight up because we're keeping it at a 45 degree angle at our 5 o'clock position. So we've made that curvy S like shape and now we're going to build on to that by creating some more rope-like designs. So we're going to do the same thing again. Now in order to make it loop up over, I'm going to start with my tip just under the portion I just piped and bring it up over and back down. I'm going to stop squeezing and remove my bag. In order to join three, we're going to do the same thing. Starting just underneath the area that you just piped. This is a great border for all types of cakes, various occasions, and once you learn how to do it consistently, um, it can become a, a very nice favorite. So starting the, the border as if this were our cake, we're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. We're going to pipe these semi-S shapes beginning just under the curve from the portion of rope that we just left off of. And you're going to go all the way around the cake like that, just continuing up and over, up and over, up and over, and so on. If you're a lefty, you're going to start from the right side of the design and work your way to the left. Since I'm a righty, I start from the left and work my way across to the right. 